So in this video, I'm going to talk about what bone is. And so to start off, when we talk about bone, we generally refer to two different things. And so bone can essentially have two meanings. It can either be referred to as an organ of the body, for example, your femur and your tibia. So essentially, the bones that compose your body. And then another meaning of bone is bone tissue. And so this bone tissue actually makes up most of the mass of the bone. So bone tissue actually makes up most of what we generally know as bones. And so it was probably a poor choice of scientists to not really clarify the difference between these two because a lot of times when people speak they use bone interchangeably as either an organ of the body or bone tissue. And so right now we're gonna go on and talk more about bone tissue. And so there's two forms of bone tissue. There's spongy bone and compact bone. And let's talk about what they are on the next page. One thing I forgot to mention, bone tissue is also it's called osseous tissue so let me write that down osseous whoops can't spell osseous tissue is what we call bone tissue so they are the same but in general you're probably gonna be um you're probably going to hear it more referred to as osseous tissue because it sounds more scientific. But anyway, let's talk about the two forms of osseous tissue, osseous tissue, which is spongy bone and compact bone. So the two types of bone tissue, spongy bone and compact bone, let's start with the spongy bone. So spongy bone looks spongy in appearance. So it essentially looks like there are many pores. It looks like there's a lot of, um, it essentially just looks like a sponge. However, this doesn't mean that the bone is soft. That's um, kind of the misleading thing. And so you can usually find spongy bone in the head of long bones. So essentially the head of long bones means like the ends. So for example, if we're talking about your femur in your leg, you would find spongy bone in the region close to your hip and in the region close to your knee. So essentially the ends. And then you can also find them in the middle layer of flat bones, such as your sternum or your cranium, for example. And so pretty much it's important if you think about it like this spongy bone is always covered by compact bone and so that means that essentially spongy bone is never just exposed and so that leads to us to talk about compact bone and so compact bone is what essentially if you ever look at a bone on the outside you can see that it looks very smooth I guess and it doesn't really look like a sponge so it's pretty dense and there are no visible spaces and that's what you can see that's the compact bone and so it's essentially a denser calcified tissue with no visible spaces that's a key difference and so pretty much for flat bones compact bone sandwiches the spongy bone so the spongy bone is like the middle of the sandwich and then in long bones such as your femur for example it just wraps around the whole bone the compact bone and so just remember that spongy bone is covered by compact bone and that is always the case so that pretty much sums it up for bone what you should remember out of this video is that a uh, bone has two meanings so it can either be referred to as an organ or bone tissue and we clarified that there are two forms of bone tissue which is spongy bone and compact bone 
spongy bone is on in the middle so to speak so it's like spongy bone is always covered by compact bone so when you when you look at the bones that you're normally accustomed to seeing you can see the outside and that's actually the compact bone and so i hope this video helped you if it did please give it a like and share it with your friends